President Trump once again urging precaution as Hurricane Florence inches closer to land. Here he is. We are ready, but this is going to be one of the biggest ones to ever hit our country. Residents in the path of these devastating storms should comply with all evacuation orders and other emergency instructions. Protection of life is the absolute highest priority. He's right about that. I'm joined now by someone who is not heeding those warnings. Local Topsail Beach resident, just down from where Steve Harrigan was, Manny Lott, who has chosen to ride the storm out. Manny, good evening to you. I understand that you uh, are a New Yorker, born New Yorker, but you relocated to that area how long ago? And why did you decide to stay when the governor is really telling everybody that he really wants them to leave? Uh, good evening, Martha. We've been here since 1996. We rolled out Bertha and Fran. Actually, lost a house with, Bertha, with Fran came in 96. And we just see the storefront. The eye is going south of us. We're not going to get the Joe Fraser right hook. So it's not going to be as bad as it is. It's going to be bad. But we, we'd rather be home than take a week and a half to get home. Well, That's our thinking. Yeah. Or yeah. wife and my children. I, I, under, how, how many of you are at your house? Uh, this is uh, this house uh, since 97. No, but I mean, how many of your family members are going to ride this out with you? Uh, got my one well, youngest daughter, her boyfriend. We got four of the neighbors coming over, uh, four more coming over with some booze. We got generators. We got 20 gallons of gas. We got propane. We got five generators with AHC, so we'll, we'll be fine. We we'll hunkered down. It's not going to be easy, but we'll be hunkered down and be safe. Well, what about the we power outages? How concerned are you? I mean, you say you have five five generators, and how far inland are you? I'm assuming that you don't live right there on the beach where you're standing. We're a mile and a half away. We're sea level 16. Uh, the surge is over here. It's supposed to be now about six, seven feet, maybe eight feet. The last reason I saw at five o'clock. I didn't get the seven o'clock meetings. I'm, I'm here with you right now, Martha. Yeah. But uh, we got plenty. I got to hook up the AC, central air. I got enough generator power to hook up the central air. We got four central air units, and we'll be comfortable. God and Lord willing, we'll be fine. Lord willing, you'll be fine. Um, it, it, you know, it, no, no concerns where you are about putting first responders in danger because that's what the governor's really talking about. He doesn't want other people to have to go in to pull people out who should have left. Uh, well, one of my one of my daughters, a nurse, she's with us. Okay. Uh, we know it, even at 45 miles an hour, EMS can't be on the road anyhow. Mm. So it's, yes, we've been through them before. We stayed before. All right. Uh, You're Manny, here's what we do. Man with a plan. We apologize. Man with a plan. Manny Lott, um, we wish you well. Uh, and keep in touch. Let us know how you make out, okay? God bless. You too, Bob. All the Thank best you. to you and your family. You bet.